Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good, good. We're going to have a good discussion today about people that bought in 2022, speculators that bought new builds and now are having uh, trouble selling. Yeah, so let me give those audience a little update of what a speculator is. I'm sure most know, but these people bought at a peak in the market, right? When things were going totally crazy and money was really cheap. So they bought the unit for X amount of dollars. We're going to go through some neighborhoods that we've done some research on and kind of, you know, talk about, you know, that what they some have paid for. We don't have exact uh, dollars, but we kind of have some scoops. So that person never really intended to live in the property. Even though they say, well, I bought it, I was thinking of moving in and now I wasn't. Let's be honest, they just bought it, thought this hype would keep going and going and going and the wind would just keep driving up the market. Well, we know that didn't happen. So now we're seeing a lot of them on the market and I have some clients that I've been working with that want new builds. So put it mildly, some of the negotiations were not going so well because of the steep loss and where the market is today that they would have to take. But here's my thoughts. That's what speculating is. It could go up, risk. it could go down. It's a risk. You got to manage that risk, right? And so now some of them have closed and now have got large mortgages in a sense. Valuations have come down and high payments to keep the property going. It wasn't the 2%. 2.5% or whatever, where it was back then, where it was cheap. And a lot of them, of course, they're all vacant and they're some are for lease, but I'm seeing more sales because of the issues with the landlord tenant board. And I had a discussion with, with, with someone last night who's an agent that bought one. And, I, and he goes, I thought about renting it out, but I changed my mind quickly. I said, well, that's a good call because you have a nice home there. And you're putting it at risk where you put a tenant in there and then things fall through. As we know, this is a very common thing with the issues in the LTP, whatever, whatever. So, you know, congrats, he did sell. We got, you know, beat it out and he, and he got a good dollar for it. So he's not, he's still underwater, but he's lucky he's, he's an agent. So he saves 2.5. So he paid 2.5 and he told me the property time he put all his appliances is and stuff like that. He was 860. Okay. The unit sold for 810. So he's still out 80, 90K. Time he paid real estate fees, lawyer fees, land transfer. You're at 90K. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So um, I got a call from a guy from YouTube who was watching our videos and yeah. he uh, didn't want to close on this townhouse because the mortgage was going to be so high. Yeah. That he was like, Diane, I just need to sell it. He paid 900. Yeah. It was semi detached, 1,700 square feet. And with all those fees in, it was, it was nine. And I said, well, I, I can't get you that price. Like I can't even get you close to that. No, no. So he ended up moving into it. Now yeah. I actually have that area pulled up, Mark. Yeah. Pull it up and keep, before you pull up, let's talk about one more because, because I, I just looked at one that came on the board on Sagewood. It was up, up there for, I think 29 days at 799 that somebody detached. They just reduced it by 20 K brand new from the builder and they were only offering a $10,000 commission. Now they're offering 2%. So that $900,000 unit. Seven, well, seven, yeah. And this is the exact same area I'm talking about yeah. Yeah. that, that uh, client called me. So there's C on Phoenix here. There's five. Oh yeah. Okay. In this area, 799, 1.199. Now these yep. are all new builds people. The, nobody's even lived in these houses. Pull some of them up. But get the low price ones because I'd rather talk about them a little easier than, you know, the million dollar ones. There's not much to say over it. It's, it's it's a crowded market. So, so. it's 800. It's uh, for a semi-detached, one car garage. There's no fences or anything, right? Obviously. Can you make those pictures big? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, they are. Oh, geez. And they're terrible pictures. Sorry. Yeah. They're, they're not properly. Not a bad layout. I like the island space. You got a bit of room. It's nice. I think uh, it actually is better than it, but living room, look how small. Right. There's the deal breaker. And then you got a window on that side. So your TV's stuck there. 
Yeah, and no, that's no. 800. Yeah. I think that's, I like some of the finishes, Diane, but that living room's a deal breaker for me. I'd like to see when we go back, I'd love to see the size. Carpet in the bedrooms. Builder flush mounts. Like, I liked, see, go back to that picture one sec, because I've seen that. Uh, yeah. So, why wouldn't you, they don't need this door. This door makes it look cheap. That glass is all you need. Because that's what I have in my shower, in my bathtub, yeah. I just have the glass. This door is cheap looking. They shouldn't have put that in. I would, I'd be taking it out. That'd be me. There's somebody living in it. It looks like a rental. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like that's that's the whole back of the house. Right. So yeah. like the issue, the issue here is are you gonna get eight hundred for that in this town? Right now? I don't think so because it's not that big. No. So the one that my client had is a little bit bigger. Yep. It's not like these. But all these people, here's one on Sagewood. Yeah. That's not the bigger one, is it? Uh, no, that's the semi-detached, I think. Yeah. Sorry, it was, a, it was before $799. I said $779, but it's, it was, it was sorry, it was listed previously $799. I said $779, $799, and I said $799, $785.9. But the commission was low. This isn't rooms. bad. It isn't bad at all. I like the layout. It isn't bad. I like it. But here, like I like the finishes. But here's another question for that buyer that says is working on a budget going. Appliances are going to cost them 15K. I didn't read the, the, the notes on that at all. And this is directly from the builder. So I'm going to jump around a bit, but it will make sense. So this is probably a... When all these new homes, everyone thinks that, oh, no, they're coming on the market. No, they've all been sold off on phases. So this is yeah. probably one that I was talking to a lady this back several months ago that worked for Pratt Homes in sales. And I asked her, I said, how many are of these homes are you getting back in a sense from when people, when you pre-sold them back in 2021, 2022, and now they're coming up in 2024? And she goes, 10% of the inventory is coming back to us. People lose their deposits. This is probably one of them, right? Yep. Builders in the real estate business, they're in the building business. So well, and my and my guy, his is bigger than this, and he paid like nine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. And he's so yeah. Well, and the issue is is that like they can't even get 785 for crying out loud. That's the thing. And, and when you know. And when I'm seeing things like that being listed 799, I'm calling up some of the folks going, what's your expectations? Okay, Mark, look at this. Hold on. I need to get Grace this up. That's so heavy. Just, what are your expectations? And some are going, well, <laughs> take, and some of them are listed at 699 and hoping to get more. And well, and when I know she negotiated one, it was a tough, it was a tough um, negotiations in a sense. And well, we, Mark, this one is like yeah. my guys. So this is eighteen ninety six. My guy's like almost eighteen. What's so the price? Ninety says eight seventy three. Good luck. Not happening. Let's go do the pictures. Not happening. Not happening. No, but they, they paid high sevens for that, close to eight. They're so. Oh good. well, no, they probably paid nine. My guy did. Yeah. Okay, let's go through it. You know, you walked his unit, so nice unit, but it's not a nine. It's on 875, not in this oh, market. This one's even shittier than his. Oh, no, this is kind of Small the same. Cards. See everybody around? That's normal. Well, his is the same. You have to get blinds right away. So people right put away. blinds in your budget because yeah. he said he had to do it right away because everybody can see right into his house. He said, yeah. Diane, I had to go get, he paid three or $4,000 to get blinds throughout the whole house because yep. everybody can see in. That's right. And after we're done, I want you to go look and see if appliances are in there. We can because that's two we haven't seen. He had to put his own dishwasher and stuff in. I know that. I've seen on the board the highest 73 mark. It's a semi. The highest town home in Barry has sold for eight hundred eleven thousand year to date. And it was a new one on oh geez. Over in the Terry Fox area. I, 
I forget the name is. Anyway, it was eight eleven. I haven't seen anything sell. So we're seeing the semi detached and oh, high. This is pre construction. Okay, coming up on the market in the high sevens or eights, and we've seen some on, you know, Turnberry thirty timber. I think was asked Turnberry uh, was asking in the eights. We're seeing them sell over there, Diane, for seven twenty, seven fifteen, right? Like the market's not there. No, so it's like they overpaid, wow. and it is what overpaid. it is. So if you want to sell it, I'm going to tell you is right now, you're going to have to put it for the market or you rent it out one or the other. And I, and personally, I wouldn't be the renting type of guy, not with what's going on in the LTB. Watch some of our videos. Well, look at this on Courtney Crescent, four plus one bed. This is a resale. Just way too to high. be comparable. Way, way too high though. I like the layout of those units, but it's not 8, 860, not even close. No, it's not. Yeah, they did some nice things. Be honest, big deal. They're, those are easy fixes to do. Change some lighting. It's all I've done is change some lighting, change some mirrors. That's an easy fix. But that's not an eight sixty. Not today's market. Nope. No. Nope. Not even close. Oh, it's got a kitchen there. in the basement. Big deal. It's not legal. But, you know, years ago we used to go. Oh my god, they got. Oh my god, did you see that listing that came up? It has a basement apartment today. <laughs> it's more of a detriment. So. Yeah. There you go, right? So, so the other big area that the speculators right in here, right? Yeah, you're going in, uh, go up. No, slow down. Go back, go more this way. You're off Terry Fox area. You're over in Durham Street. It's off Young, though. I need, I need no, to bring Young, young right? No, 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 off Young. Go over the new stuff, or you want to go to Fairline? Oh, it's Mosa. right here. Okay, go there. Yeah, there's a few over there. Like Cherry, pull that one up. Let's go do the pictures. So this is a stacked townhouse. How much? With How much? no yard. How much? Listing price. Uh, pull it down. Eight ninety-seven. Okay. Sixteen hundred and fifty sure? square feet. So they want nine hundred thousand dollars with no yard. And, and a bottle fee. And a park. It looks like there's a, probably a park right in front of your, probably there's, there's a sidewalk. Hard to say. Okay. Lots of stairs. Lots of stairs in those models. Yep. No privacy. Privacy. No backyard. Your backyard is that deck. Just make sure we show that deck. Oh, I'm sure they'll show it to us, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sure they will. So your kitchen and your living room is here. Living rooms over there, kitchens here. I don't mind the layout. I don't mind that layout. I don't like it. I know you like it. I don't like it. I don't like all these friggin' stairs. There's lots of stairs. Be ready for them. There's lots. And and when I lived at Hunter, we had these stairs that go skinny. Holy uh, shit. You had uh, to hold on because yeah, your you're... foot goes over the edge. Can you hear that motorbike? No. Okay. My neighbor's kids on a bike. So there's the front door. Yeah, of... well, look, at, yeah, carrying your groceries in the right. case of the water yeah. up there. Yeah. Go carpet, to that deck. Carpet throughout the unit on yeah. uh, upstairs, everything. And and this, they probably paid eight. And now they're trying to get nine. Time you, time you do your land transfer fees, legals, paid real estate fees. Yeah, this is your yard. This is it. So this is becoming the new norm. Of course, it's the new Norman GTA, and now we're seeing a bit of that, a lot of that more up here in, in new subdivisions, but it's only been the last three or four years where it's been the new and, norm. And we know some of these units that are smaller than this, they paid eight because we looked oh, at yeah. that. Oh, yeah. This 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 guy or gal probably paid a little bit over eight because it's a bigger oh, unit. Well, I think this guy would be over eight because he's yeah. bigger. Oh, for sure. He is 100% there. And then he would have land transfers, legals, everything else, I and agree. real estate fees. I agree. So, you know, and no one's paying nine hundred for this. It's not. It's not. It's not the market. This is the speculation game. It's a risk game. Well, like, and you know, I hear a lot of people on our site that complain about. Well, investors are buying. Investors have money. Investors. Right, no, no, no. <laughs> well, I want to say something about it because I'm going to tell you what kind of gets me mad about it. Investors are taking that risk. 
Oh yeah. And you know what? You gotta, whether they win or they lose, they took the risk. Oh yes. People who, who say, well, all these people have money and they don't, but they're willing to take a risk to try to make money. I agree. There's a lot of people in this world who are too afraid to take a risk. I agree. Hey, I, they I'm don't. Not... They won't take a risk like that. They're not going to mortgage their house to get a down payment oh. and try to make money. They won't oh. do it. They won't do it. So and... I mean, look at Mr. Trump. He, I mean, all of these big investor guys like borrowed from one to buy another. They leveraged everything. They lever never use their own money. Leveraged everything. Took the big risk. Here you go. I believe there's a reward for that and. You know, and it's just too bad that the market turned like it did and things changed. And well, and people have to realize that, you know, yeah, when you when you have risk, you can lose. Oh, yeah, there's a chance. And 10 percent of them want some pride. Boom. Yeah. You know? So this one uh, here is listed at six ninety nine. For the hold it, hold it off on offers, I think, on that. Yeah, it's not worth more than six. 10, this might be worth 7, 10, 7, 15. Holding off, that's not the right price point to hold off on offers. And I think I saw that today or the other day because I looked at it. I'm again, read the comment. I don't think it will show you the comments. Oh, carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that was the main floor. This is the second floor. And I've seen another one listing like that too. 699 over in Brown Bear area, Bear Creek. Right? It's vacant. Those are all staged. I think, is that vacant? Is those uh, enhanced photos, you think? Well, I don't think they usually uh, hang clothes okay. in the closet, do they? Yeah, I don't think so. I just wanted to crash it. <laughs> pretty good photos then. Um, it's nicely staged, nicely put together, but to hold off on offers on that thing. Well, this even has a yard. Right. It has some yards, so it's got some pluses. I'm just not a big fan of that area because we've seen – that area has been, what, two years old now? Yeah. Pretty much. A lot of tons were for sale last year. We've seen it. Right, tons went for sale in 2022, right? And you know, there's still the wrapping up a lot of the, all the you know grass is in a lot, so like that. But there's just row after row after row after row. A lot of them have been leased out, so you're going to see a lot of turnover of. Families. Well, no, this is exactly what I wanted to show, Mark. Look in the in this in the phase one that's done. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is probably in the middle of the day and you don't have people over here yet even no. living here. No. But cars are on the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, park it's a parking disaster. Look and at the right sun. now, well this one there it isn't even that bad yet, but you know what it's going to be when everybody moves in. Dong show. Yeah. There's going to be cars on both sides of the road. There's no parking here because you got this. Yep. You got the fire extinguisher, or not the fire extinguisher, the whatever. Fire hydrant. Yeah, and you're also going to be in a, in a sandstorm for years. Oh, yes. There's still a little bit more building to be done. Not much over there, I think. I was over there. Um, anything else you want to say about that? I mean, hey, speculators. Aren't well, the problem is, yeah, if you're a speculator. You have choices. Hold it or get rid of it. Yeah. Lost. Yeah. If you Lost. can't make your Lost. money back, it's the game. Like, well, like my, like our, our, my guy that called from YouTube, what did I tell him? Move in. Move in. It will go back up. It's or, or I told him you could lose your hundred grand deposit. Yeah. He had a couple choices. Yep. You can walk away and lose your hundred grand. Yeah. Get sued. You move in and hold it and wait for the market to go, to go back up. And it's going to. Or you rent it out. That's right. By renting it out, he still couldn't have covered the mortgage. It was that high. Out of pocket quite a bit. That's right. Because the So he rent. would have had to pay rent at the apartment he was in, plus pay yep. this. Yeah. And is the tenant going to wreck it? Yep. I got to fly because I got appointments. Um, okay. Make sure you give this a like, follow um, for more information. And sometimes... Our comments are very in your face, but that's just the way I am anyway. So, well, you know what, Mark, you know, I, I saw a little video the other day and it made me kind of think of when people say that I'm in sales, 
you know, and I get comments on our thing. Well, of course you're going to say that your sales, you're, you're trying to sell houses. Well, I don't actually think I'm in sales. I, I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. We're educators. Help people. We're educators of what's going on in the market that day. And you're trying to help your client, Mark. That's it. We're not trying to sell them something that makes bad decisions. That's not. You me. try to protect them. Yep. That's it. And you try to help them, whether it's selling or buying that you're, I don't care if they buy, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not going to push them into anything. I got to go. See ya. See, bye.